Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the divider element and I built something else because you need other items to use the divider. So here's the divider, I drag it over here between the header and the text and I release it and here it is, a nice black bar. If I take a look, it looks like that, it goes from the left to the right. So let's adjust it. First I want to change the weight to 4, so you see it better. You can change the style to double, so you have two lines, or dotted like that, or dashed. If I would say dotted and I make the weight bigger, then it becomes bigger. Double, and solid. So let me say double for instance, then I can change the color over here to white. I can make it transparent or half transparent. And again, I can change the weight. Then I can change the width in percentage like that. And it goes from left to right. So I can bring it to the center over here. And now I adjust it and it looks like that. But I can also adjust it using pixels. So I can make it exactly 615 or 634. So it aligns like that. And then I can change the gap between the elements above and below. So if I increase it, it looks like that. And if I decrease it, I can bring it closer to each other like that. And if I would go to advanced and I go to margin and I uncheck this, I also can bring it even closer using minus in the margin like that. Update. And you see the animations. So I can go to advanced entrance fade in from right make it slow and after one second. So I say a thousand over here, a thousand milliseconds. Update. Let's take a look. Like that. And that is what you can do with the divider. And then we also have the spacer. So if I drag that over here, it is really easy. I can increase the space and I can decrease it. And you can change it for any device. So if I would go to the mobile, I can increase it like that. And also on a tablet. So that's only if you want to create space. But the same thing you can do over here at advanced with margin and padding like this. So maybe you can find a way why I should use it. I don't use it. But I wanted to show you what is possible with it. So that was it about the divider and the spacer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff. And feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.